The song, Love That Is One, is the first song on the record. And uh, it's a song that I actually wrote with my brother Brandon and then a worship leader named Ben Cantillon in the UK. And uh, last year, Brandon and I took a trip out to the UK, met up with Ben, actually wrote in his apartment, and we just began to talk about the love of God. And um, we were talking about songs that the church can declare about the love of God. And so I showed him this idea, and it was kind of, you know, infant mode. Ben started messing with it and came up with this awesome, awesome chorus. What it means is that we call God love. That is, it. that is who He is. God is love. But the love that we experience in this world is a love that is earned. It's something that we get when we do something. Um, but God's love is a love that we do not earn. It is a love that He pours out. And He pours out um, graciously. Like a flood, He pours it out on us. And God loved us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Um, God's love has come to rescue His people. He's come to rescue those who are in darkness. And uh, we wanted to write a song that was saying, we sing salvation's song. Love has come. It has saved us. There's a part in the song, that, the bridge, and it says, you saved us, you saved us. And it's like we're shouting it out and screaming it out. And um, I just thought, man, what a powerful thing if you got hundreds of people, thousands of people packed into, the room, into a room that believes this truth, um, that would, it would sound like an army, and um, of declaring the truth that God has rescued us. So Love That Is One is a special song. It's one that you can't sing half-heartedly. It, it requires all of you, all of your bones, all of your strength, with all that you are, to shout it out and to sing it out, and uh, it's a mighty sound. You saved us. You saved.